Hello everyone, welcome back to One Piece Dungeons and Dragons episode 65. I am your lovely host, over exaggeration, um, I am your host, Daniel Rustage. Um, I was about to say otherwise known as Pipsqueak, because that's what I used to say in my old vlogs when I was 14 years old. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> otherwise known as Pipsqueak. Um, I'm here, happy birthday, 65th birthday, so it's his retirement age to Los Poros Duros. I um, can finally, guys, it's my last day, last, oh last my time, God. Uh, yeah. Duros is dead this episode, so yeah. it's nice to know. Nice. <laughs> he doesn't have to die, Duros can just retire, it's just time for him to just hang up the, the sword. He you just know? sails yeah. away. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm also here with William Teching 101. Hi everybody, I have a cookie. Oh my God, he got, he's got a real cookie. Mm -hmm. I hope it tastes good. Ashley ate all of my cookies before she left for New Zealand, and I'm mad. All right. <laughs> <laughs> That's a baller move right there. You, you're an, you, nom, nom, nom. I'm out of here. You're a grown adult that could just go out and buy more cookies. I know, but come on. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of cookies the were there? What kind of that? cookies were there? <laughs> well, yeah, what, what, what genre of cookie were they? Yeah. Chocolate chip. I love chocolate Oh, chip. Ashley. This is my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, I love Techie's response to like the most normal type of cookie being, oh, that's, wow. It's the best that's one. Right. The I, best cookie. I, I, fair they, enough. They are the best cookie. Okay, fair, I mean, fair I'm enough. I'm not debating them. I'm peanut butter like a freaking peasant. You know? It's, like, all, it's all about oatmeal chocolate chip, okay? <laughs> Those okay. are solid. White that's and that's yeah. really good too. Oh, I mean, yeah. Thanks to the chocolate no. chip, but it's still a chocolate chip base. Listen. That's look, true. look, look. There are <laughs> shitty chocolate chip cookies and then there are godly chocolate chip cookies. They're called like, oatmeal raisin. I love okay, oatmeal that's raisin that's cookies. That's really good too. Hold up. Oh my. I, I love any sort of biscuit Gross. that has raisins in it. Um, I agree. You, oatmeal raisin is pretty good. I won't yes. lie. It's alright. It's not. I have. <laughs> it's not. Okay, it's what, not. What, what, <laughs> name a One Piece D&D character and tell you what sort of cookie they eat. Like. <laughs> <laughs> All right, shit, um, Cyril. Cyril. Um, <laughs> oh God, Cyril eats um, gingerbread men, um, but like really small ones. Um, and then he gets really sad because he's ended a life. Uh, Verona. <laughs> I'm here with Verona. Too spooky. <laughs> I don't have any cookies. Aww. Yeah, I mean, is it? Um, and I'm also here with Ragnar Briggs. Ragnar's more of a cracker guy. Cracker and ale, am I right, boys? Yeah. <laughs> he does look like wood chips is what Ragnar eats. <laughs> <laughs> Meat and wood chips. And Salty and dry. I feel you like just, all about. You, you cut the tree in cracker shapes, pour a bunch of salt, and just eat that, you know? I, I imagine Ragnar waking up Christmas morning, getting coal in his stocking, and going, ooh, perfect food, <laughs> yummy. <laughs> 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 I, I wake up and it's an uncut log and coal. I'm like, this is the best Christmas ever. It's a Christmas miracle. Oh, hell yeah. Coal's oh, not a bad log. gift. It powers things. Like, you yeah. can use it for stuff. Yeah, honestly. Yeah. Uh, okay, well, welcome back. Episode 65. Where we last left our crew, they had just found the um, first ever devil fruit, uh, the mm. pineapple fruit and they spent 20 minutes debating on who was going to eat it um and then the they came Did up with you counted oh no i, I edited that was it... that was an important decision though okay? <laughs> yeah like, no 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 it was an important it was an important decision uh, it might have been more than 20 minutes uh i mean we were back on that for a while I yeah mean, yeah there was a lot of decisions yeah. That was the worst that. episode ever. No, like a lot no, of no. <laughs> Actually, a lot of people said it was their favorite episode, so I, really? I yeah, genuinely. I, I, think, I think it's just because Clementine was the thumbnail art. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, so, I lied. The worst episode ever was the last Isekai episode. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say that, but I didn't want to. I was like, yeah. Right, Honestly, I, I really love that episode. Um, okay, so you take a. You, you see Benevolence, the sword, um, oh. obviously animated. And we ended on Benevolence eating the devil fruit. Oh and the my. moment Benevolence eats the devil fruits, suddenly he starts glowing with insanely divine light. It almost hurts oh. to look at him. And you see oh. uh, him and the fruit sort of hovering in the air. 
and there is just a flash of immediate light. Almost looks like the world is rearranging. Time is speeding by. Um, you see the pineapple fruit itself split off into lots, thousands, maybe tens of thousands of little pieces that almost look like uh, they're expanding into different fruits of different types and shapes and colors and things and they're exploding across the world you see benevolence just explode in a giant show of <laughs> uh, light and energy and then all of a sudden almost anticlimactically just dramatically you just are standing there in the room with Louis Leclerc obviously um, you know older Louis Leclerc with his time machine back inside that cave. Almost like no time has passed at all. The only difference is Duros, you look down and in your hand is a completely different sword and a little uh, note attached oh, to it. I left him a note. You <laughs> left me a little note. Oh. Nevertheless, what's going on? What does it say? You look down at the note and the note says, Duros, I'll do it in his voice. Duros, <laughs> I hope you're doing well. I no. thought I'd write this to explain a few things. How'd you write it so quickly? Well, he... <laughs> you'll see. Wait, yeah. <laughs> in the moment that I ate that devil fruit, my body filled with power to reshape reality and time. But an empty canvas laid bare before me. For a moment, nothing existed at all. And in that moment, I realized, if it was not for that moment in time, everything as we know it couldn't have existed. With my limited time, I moved my friends, you guys, back to the original timeline, and I reshaped reality to make sure that you even existed in the first place. I see now that yeah. everything happened because I made it so. I knew I would oh, die in this process, so in my last moments I created this weapon as my replacement. You could see him as, like, my son. Call Aww. him what you want, he's your new friend, and I hope you treat him as well as you treat me. Thank you for everything. And good luck. Soon, the fruit will regrow, and others may want to abuse this power. And the final words on the letter is... The One Piece is real. Benevolence. Oh my god, I have goosebumps. Now, <laughs> did, did you read that letter to all like of us? Or is that he's more just holding personal? His, I guess the yeah. sword in his hand, and he's just he's just crying as he reads Can we get too. much higher? <laughs> like, I, I, I shall you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> it's son of a bitch. Um, I knew it was coming. <laughs> you you read that ain't or crying. I didn't like I'm just checking to see do I have my giant gun? Do you have your gun? <laughs> <laughs> you guys have everything that that you had the moments before you got transported. So you, you don't <laughs> 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 so <laughs> so you don't have your sniper rifle and gun. I put it on my character, Sean, you damn it! <laughs> It's on mine too! <laughs> I had a name for it! Okay. It's a fuck name. it, fuck it! We gotta go back! <laughs> Lilia has time machine right now! <laughs> We're going back! Just see this fucking leg. <laughs> just crying in the Dude, corner. He's just literally crying right now. Ball I'm down to go back. Out. Damn the it! The Frappuccinos back then were amazing. God. All right, chat, just to let you know, because I was proud of this, William got a desert eagle. I called it the devil eagle. I won't be able to use it now, but there it was. All right. And delete. All right, Duros, are you okay? Did you forget? Did you lose something, too? I lost a friend, Captain. Oh, oh. Is that... Oh, that's not the same sword. No. No, but it is apparently Benevolence's son. Remember And, um... I'm gonna like unsheathe it just to look at it. What does it okay. look like? Um, it has uh, this like blue edge to the hilting of it. Um, it is it's a sort of shorter sword than Benevolence was, um, but it has a more sharp curve to it, and it has quite a fancy hilt that's silver, and has on the hilt itself it has like a little clock to sort of indicate that it's from t time. 
It's like a blue and silvery sword. It's quite cool. It okay. looks fancy. It's fancy looking, for sure. Yeah. So are we in the clock tower right now? Yeah, you're back in the clock tower. You know, back where you were is, four episodes ago. Is there a window we can look out? No, because you're underground. Yeah, we're oh. in the cave. Yeah, the under down underground clock tower. Yeah, the, okay. the clock tower was on. It, remember, it was under the under the oh. ground that you went into. Uh, this has been a weird. Day. You see Louis Leclock there, obviously older Louis Leclock, blue blue Louis as we call him. And uh, he's Louis. like, "Why didn't it not work? I pressed the button and it is not. It is not working." Uh, my oh, machine. it worked all right. I grab him and drag him away from the thing. Hey, I don't hey. want to be messing with it anymore. <laughs> I'm right. Okay, Louis, just don't mess with that thing anymore, please. I mean, I want to get my gun back, but I think we should probably not tempt fate. Hey, what do you what do you mean? Weren't Louis. oh okay uh oh god. Verona, how would you even explain the last? <laughs> I don't even know. It was it was we like found an endless God. eight episodes or something. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it was like four episodes worth of con uh, content right there. We went back in time. Blue Blood was young. We fought some people. I got a frappuccino. They got guns. It was really cool. And now we're back here, and it's like nothing happened. You died yeah, a you bunch died, of times. Yeah. Wait, Louis died. I died too. Briggs, uh, not Briggs. I, I don't know myself. who Briggs is. Ragnar died. Yeah. <laughs> Ragnar committed not alive. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And the captain tried Minecraft. to kill me, but then he killed himself. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I died. Yeah. I met myself. <laughs> <laughs> you are oh, not talking. Through. You are talking nonsense. What are you talking about? Yeah, that's about? why I was having a hard time explaining it. Bottom line, it, Ragnar, destroy the machine. <laughs> okay, Captain. No, Bang. my machine. Bang. Oh, no more time travel. What the, I guess the problem but I've is got we to made a new enemy. I've got to save the other Louis. What about my plan? What about everything? Your plan I'm... would never work. No. The Void Police would make sure of that, I think. The Void Police? What do you mean? I don't... What happened? I don't really I understand feel it dizzy. myself. I feel dizzy. You, I when, feel weak. When you, when you tamper with time, strong nerds appear and try to kill you. <laughs> so, Take a, yeah. <laughs> I guess yeah, that's, that's one way that to put it. That perfectly. That's like yeah, a, that's like you, a quote for the record. <laughs> <laughs> that Ragnar quotes when you tamper with time. <laughs> strong nerds will try and kill you. <laughs> Some weird version of Verona, version of Louis, some guy with bull horn hair showed up. You know, we had to, you know, fight him. It's not fun. Another not Louis? Again. Yeah, yes. lots of Louis, actually. No. Copious Louis. And he was good? Like me? I mean, there was one, well, he, no. Well, he killed no, you. He was completely He killed evil. you. Yeah, <sighs> he has a red yeah, he coat. he killed you. Yeah. See, Multiple times, apparently. <sighs> you want to save all the Louis from dying, but how can you save the Louis from yourself? Yeah, that yeah. That is true. Maybe I was childish in my dream. It, it also just... seems kind of like just a fruitless endeavor to save every single version of yourself. I'm sure I've done. I, I've died in so many other realities. I am sure. You know, it's like yeah. We, we, I don't know how we're still alive, to be honest. Honestly, well, I don't know. know. We should have died a lot. Realities yeah. is dead, Captain. Yeah. True. <laughs> other Duras is dead. Yeah, yes. other Duros is dead. And he was quite rare, so no matter what, mm -hmm. there's always going to be some version of evil of yourself. Uh, maybe in the captain's case, maybe more good. I mean, there's a version of me that's probably <laughs> pounded into jelly in Blue Blood's throne room right now. I mean, like, hey, it's just, you'd be fortunate for the life that you are, not the life that could be. I wonder what the other Ragnars are like. Imagine uh, a Ragnar that doesn't like ale. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just picturing a bunch of parallel Ragnars that just have like a different kind of funny hat, like Cowboy Ragnar, and you know, like a song. Yeah, Ragnar. Yeah. Like, that's the only difference. Oh um, wow! I, I yeah. Okay. Uh, well, firstly, Duros, what are you naming your weapon? I can explain to you what it does. A weapon is not. T you can't name a weapon until it's. I used like in remembrance. Battle. I enough. vote for that. Okay, <laughs> fair enough. Well, I'll tell you what it does, though. You can just feel what it does. It is a. It's a plus two sword as opposed to a plus one sword that you had before. Um, oh, sweet! Instead of instead of once per turn restoring half of the damage as hit points, once per turn you take all of the damage of one attack as temporary hit points, and you can use a bonus action later. To transfer your bone, uh, your temporary hit points to heal someone else. Ooh! Oh, oh that that's really good. Yeah. Less of us can die. So I Could use we need my a new healer. Points and I shove it into somebody else. Essentially, okay. yeah. 
Um, okay. So, but, but the thing the thing about temporary hit points, obviously, is whenever you get temporary hit points, it replaces temporary hit points yeah, you have. Yeah, replaces the other. So ones. if you hit someone with the sword, and then you do it again, it's just going to replace that number. Um, mm. So yeah, you 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 can you. It's a sort of pool that you can oh. use to heal your teammates in a sort of supportive way. Okay. Well, great. More bonus actions that I am very. Write them all down. You got way too many bonus actions. Um. All right. Well, this has been wild. Uh, I just I, I want to get back to the ship. Honestly, after all this, like, yeah. yeah. Um. Louis Leclerc looks up at you, sadness in his eyes. He he says, "I feel so tired, like I've been killed a hundred times." Uh, well, so wait, guys, is, is this the Louis that came back with us but doesn't get his memories back? Is that what's happening? Is this the Louis that died in the clock tower that first time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the it's the okay, older Louis. Right. Okay, yeah, it's older Louis. Okay, thinking. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. Um, it's not evil. Louis. Louis. Well, you did. You just don't remember. You, you did actually. Um, uh, but but the record, we did save you, uh, at least one time, and it was it was nice talking to you again, Louis. Would uh, actually, would you like to come back to the uh, ship with us? Because there's somebody there that I think would definitely need your services once you're feeling up to it. True, but did you not come here to capture me? Um, I mean, and Tempest yeah. goes, yeah, that's right. That's that's the whole purpose we're here is to deliver this guy to Trevor for in exchange for Blake. Oh, okay, wow. yeah. I completely forgot about that. Well, we'll, well take him back. Let's go back to the ship then. Looks like you don't have a choice. Yeah, I guess I, we all have to answer know, for our crimes. Is not quite the right term. I still feel like you're still a friend. I'm a friend, still a friend, but I must accept punishment. I did help set up that cult that killed thousands of people, so you know, that's life, huh? Yeah, but did you kill anybody personally? I'm sure I must have. We all, we've all killed. Yeah. Captain, I don't know. Yeah. Can't believe I'm saying this. I don't want to give up, Louis. No, no, let's me steal, neither. Let's just, let's just steal Black Blake. That'll be way more fun. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's, I, I mean, off Trevor and I, cause I, us I, more I problems. I also feel I do not wish to lose Louis. I mean, I'm always, I'm I mean, always for, do. I'm always for pranking my brother. Okay. <laughs> I, I, have, uh, <laughs> I, I don't know. I know. Um, uh, uh, William Tempest says, William, I don't know if, essentially angering all of the marines and having a full-blown oh, war God, against them is is the anyone. same as pranking your brother i mean they hate you guys but that's going straight into uh i think we could handle it tempest thank you for your input all right everybody let's move <laughs> i mean what's what's next we we, we defeated a yonko world government yeah i mean if not also oh wait did did, did you actually read that letter do we know the one piece is real <laughs> Uh, I didn't say anything okay, else. Okay, that we don't know. Asked. That we never know. Did I you... thought it was too personal. I didn't ask. <laughs> do you, know? do you so ask? Just knows about it. <laughs> I didn't even see the letter. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I mean, did you ask? Did you I'm ask not her? asking. It's very personal. Okay. Yeah, William's you're, terrible you're with just, personal he situations. He tucks the letter away. It's like a personal memento, so it's always going to yeah. be on. It's always going to be on my person. Mm. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Okay, okay. The only person that would ask would be would be Verona. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> probably. I, I'm gonna say like after everything we just went through, Verona kind of like understands he's not supposed to ask about it. It's mm -hmm. it's too personal. But yeah, I just remembered something. What? I'm I'm gonna throw you for a loop right now, Rustage. Um, so I happen to have a code paper somewhere on my person from uh, V Junior. If you remember him. Okay. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I, I, I'm going to animate it, because thinking about this note over here made me remember I have that, and wait, I want to animate it and have it tell me what it what it's for. Wait, what is, what is it? It's You said it's like a code paper, like it's some sort of note that's coded. I don't understand the code. We've never really analyzed it before. Who's oh V Jr.? What episode this, is this? Remember, this is, it was, this is like episode 39. Oh, wow, uh, okay. Okay, okay, wait, hold up. <laughs> That's what I said. I'm throwing you for a loop. Uh, wait, <laughs> what does it say? Oh, what does it say? No, hold up, hold up. It's the death note. I gotta find it. Wait, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I got to find what the fuck. Wait oh, wait. I, I mean, yeah, yeah, it's just. Yeah, okay, you animate it. Bloop. Bloop? <laughs> Hello. 
Hello. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I haven't really um, thought about you much until now, but I want to know what you're all about. Listen, I'm just blueprints to create those weird spider robots that you guys fought in the Aeon Arc, remember? All right. I'm giving you to listen then. That Great. Deanimated. <laughs> 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 Great plot development, guys. We got wait, the wait, 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 wait. Hold on a second. Did I hear Verona? Are we getting spider robots now? <laughs> yes. Spider. The first okay. thing I'm doing when we see Lisa we're again spi spider wait, robots. Spider robots. I'm still that? pissed off Remember? about the gun, but like spider robots spiders. are a close second. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Ask Lisa right, to make um... me a desert eagle. So yeah, I guess maybe. we're walking back to the ship with the lead. Yeah, the we gotta get out of this cave. Well, yeah. hold up, we we do have to return uh, this uh, this old man to uh, to Trevor though. It's right, but part we have of to go contract. back to the ship. We have to go okay. to the ship. Okay, first. I just wanted to clarify that you guys weren't just okay. Fine, yeah, but we're not going to accomplish anything in this cave. Right. Let's let's. Hello. Leave Hello. Okay. Hello. So instead of kidnapping Blake, we trade. Louis for Blake and then kidnap Louis. I'm more yeah. in favor of that because at that point we've already got payment. We, yeah. we, we're planning mm. on meeting Trevor back at base. Um, okay. So, mm. gotcha. You could just you come know. with us for the exchange. Yeah, we could okay. do that. Captain, if at any point you roll a fruit that allows you to change somebody else's appearance, we might be on to something there. I'll keep you updated on that one. I was just going to make a scarecrow that looked kind of like Louis and then just throw it on. <laughs> 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 well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait, if wait, you can could animate it. could animate it. Oh, wait, yeah. I'm looking forward for a little bit. All right. Okay. Um, <laughs> no. what, if we, what, if, what if we just all draw mustaches on? I'm sure it'll work. No, but but seriously, though, so as we're if we're walking out of the cave at one point, I want to walk next to Verona and kind of out of earshot of Olaf and Tempest. Yeah. yeah. And be like, all right, um, these guys really want to turn Louie in and I'm not really sold on this. So how about we just like lock them in the cave or something? Wait, I don't know. Just an our, idea. Our, 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 uh, well, see, the. Wait, wait, they're, they're, they're part of yeah, the, yeah. the new. They're friends they're of yeah. Hemlock. They're part yeah, of our like, we don't yeah. Really the problem is, Captain, they're kind of allies, so I don't know if we should be screwing them friends. over. Uh, yeah. I'm thinking, like, I understand, and I also want Louie to stay with us, but I feel like we're going to have to make some sort of separate plan to make that a reality. <sighs> well, instead of I, creating more problems. Well, I need him to. He definitely needs to heal, boss. That's one thing he has to do. You could definitely um, do that. Pre any, yeah, yeah. And I, okay. then I feel like I'm betraying Louis all over again, you know. I mean, what if we do, we'll think about a captain, captain, we could go on another heist. I don't know about heist, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. The last one didn't work out, you didn't get your gun. I didn't, my gun, I didn't get my gun, you know. Also, right now, like, walks out of the clock tower and sees the dark cave and just like, what a dark world, <laughs> a, world yeah. a world without Frappuccino. <laughs> Dark, dark, somber world. Wait, 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 wait. This is the this is the town, right? We were in. It's just destroyed. It's just like destroyed version of it. Yeah. Let's go to the legally distinct Starbucks and see if there's anything. It's like a remains. ruin. No. <laughs> is there a clue? There's nothing left. <laughs> just rubble. You you see, there's uh, like a singular like frappuccino <laughs> standing there through time. No, 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 no. no, no. Ragnar, Plastic. you go to the rubble. You see a singular frappuccino like on the car counter that miraculously has survived through time um i run over and try to grab you try it. and grab it and it's not there it vanishes it was just your hallucination because you're fucking psycho <laughs> <laughs> no seriously though plastic cups are like ten thousand years biodegradable there might still be like, something there. yeah there's no liquid left in it <laughs> yeah um, right and just grabs his head it's like oh god damn my head's messing with me again and then sheds a single tear <laughs> oh, oh poor ragnar I'll miss you, lady, that I don't know your name. You don't know her name. <laughs> no, you knew her name. She's lost in time. None of you, the audience knows her name, but none of you guys do. No, we don't she know was, it. I don't know it. Yeah. Captain, she was like a daughter to me. We barely knew her, but you, okay. But she made an amazing beverage. <laughs> <laughs> well, considering what happened to one of your sons, maybe yeah, having another kid, it's just all right. Yeah. All right, let's go back to the ship. I can't take okay. this place anymore. Let's, let's it go reminds back to the ship. me of a all past, right. not the future. Um, all right, and uh, Pearl and Cyril are here now as well. Just, yeah. Yeah. How did you guys enjoy your date? Uh, oh, yes. How did you guys? We, you you guys turn around. They're, like, further back, right? And uh -huh. as you turn around to be aware of their, um, 
existence, you see that they suddenly let go of each other's hands and sort of like uh, <laughs> one of them puts them in their pockets and they went and Pearl goes, yeah, yeah, it was great. Yeah, we, it was cool, cool. I, I don't did, I no- did, did I notice that? I, you definitely did. Oh, okay. I was like, all right, okay, that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Bro, remember we have to train your dragon form. I almost forgot about that. That has to happen at some point. Yeah, I'm. I'm. That's gonna be paid for, but I'll. I'll do my best for the crew. Well, no time like the present. I swing my sword. <laughs> 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 and Cyril just steps in front and like uh, goes to block the shot. I, I assume you don't I'm not actually, actually do this going to. I'm not actually going to stab them. I was just fucking yeah. with them. All right, but that's always to stay on your guard. Remember. <laughs> okay. We'll All right. Remember. <laughs> okay. Good job, Cyril. All right, let's go. <laughs> So it still seems a little tense, but you guys uh, walk up the steps that you came from and you know, past the uh, body of the clockwork dragon. And as you emerge into the daylight of the day, just you oh. see that the wasteland of the of the island that you're on. Um, mm. And I mean, it, it seems relatively unchanged. It's almost like no time has passed. Yeah, um, I mean, it probably hasn't. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> probably killed that dragon like ten minutes ago. Um, yeah. all right. Um, and as you start walking back to the ship, suddenly, from the sky, you see something falling. Like a small um, pod, almost like. All right, everybody just hold, like, do we see the shadow on the ground? Like, yeah, yeah. Fall? It doesn't like, see... All right. Big Raditz. Raditz. Okay. Raditz. <laughs> Fucking Raditz comes down. Oh, crap. William was an alien the whole time. I'm like, son of a bitch. <laughs> One Piece D and D Z. All right. Um, this almost cylindrical uh, pod slams down into the ground. Okay. And um, the 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 door sort of slowly opens up. And inside is a, what seems to be um, a, a young looking girl. She's got light blue hair that kind of goes out into pink. She's wearing like um, sort of bluish pinkish clothes. And she Cheryl has... and Pearl's daughter from the future, no. <laughs> Connor, right <laughs> no, now. No. <laughs> she's, she's, she's got an um, umbrella that looks like a giant jellyfish umbrella. Oh, okay. and um, but sort of loosely hanging around her elbows is this sort of red um, jacket that you immediately recognize, and she's sort of rubbing oh. the back of her head, and she comes out. And she goes, "Ow, ow, ah, God!" Ah. And then she she immediately makes eye contact with you guys and goes, "Ooh, lucky me! Wow!" Ah, oh. she pulls out a little like. Um, you don't know, it's sort of a weird looking device. It looks like some sort of communication device and goes, the director okay. will be super happy about this one. And then she starts doing something, goes, boop, 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 boop. Hello? Hello? Yes, um, they're right here. I know, crazy, right? Well, I guess they didn't really travel far, right? All right, great. Boop, boop, boop. She puts it back down. She goes, hi. <laughs> she spreads her arm out wide. And um, as you are all staring at this uh, very, I'd say she's maybe like five foot tall. Um, and she's sort of bouncing from one foot to the other. Um, sorry, uh, I know this might be a little bit inconvenient, but I've got to kill you. Uh, you're under arrest. Um, well, excuse me there, young well, lass. Cool. We're just a <laughs> humble bunch of radish farmers on this gentle island. I think you might have the wrong kind of people here. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that was very funny. <laughs> but <laughs> um, and you see her body start to slowly transform to become more jellyfish like. She's got Aww. these jellyfish tentacles, her her arms sort of turn into these jellyfish tentacles. She's like a jellyfish zoan almost. Um no. can't be simple, can Oh my god, the jellyfish. <laughs> Where'd she come from? Where'd that right. come from? Uh, and she holds up like some ID that the sort of and you recognize it immediately as void agent ID that Louis had and mm. she goes um, void agent 03 Aria void agent Aria reporting re- reporting for duty 
Uh, oh. She beams happily. She seems overly optimistic. Um, and All right, well, um, let me grab my ID here. I pull out my fucking sword. <laughs> <laughs> and you see it, okay, uh, that tentacle sort of ID thing. Now. It's and changed. I got a new one. I just renewed it. <laughs> <laughs> officer, Miss Officer, uh, we, uh, can we just go back to our ship, really? We've had a long, long... 900 Aww. years and we really just want to get back no to i i understand i know it's really tiring you know you know um you know we killed the last two people right well yeah but you know time you know is you're probably linear. gonna die here too right uh you know i've made i've made my peace with that <laughs> i'm trying to i'm <laughs> you're really trying. trying to lay it down like yeah. you are outnumbered like seven to one you will die <laughs> You're a really funny man. Um, yeah, don't worry. I I feel like you might be underestimating me a little bit. Oh well, my god. Hold on. Why exactly are we under arrest? Oh yes, don't uh, we at least get that right to know? Yeah, do we get a yes. lawyer? Yeah, you, don't you have to read us our rights or something? Yeah, oh. yeah. Ha ha, time rights! Um, <laughs> she, she, she was back. Um, are you lot the, uh, the Devil's Luck Pirates? Who's asking? The uh, the ones that uh, ate uh, the uh, uh, the the uh, devil fruit. I mean, did okay. you guys eat a fruit? Did anybody here I, eat a fruit? I, I, I don't think anybody here ate a fruit. I, I, ate, ate, a, a fruit. I ate a fruit that turns me to a bear. Yeah, uh, a bear. I can turn my eyes into roulettes. <laughs> That's all uh, it does. That that led to the uh, destruction of the great kingdom. Fruit. That led to history as we know it, and ma'am, unless you have any evidence, all right. I, I, yeah, there's no uh, evidence of any of this. We didn't do anything. Assuming <laughs> we did do all these things, why fight us now? If you really have control of time and can find us in various places in time, why not just kill us when we're children? Why even go through all the effort? This Good is point. A, this is a question to ask for the the, the director. I don't think you. Th you think we have the sort of powers that we don't? If we really had the power to just traverse time, we can only enter loops that open of the, its own mm. will. And uh, are we in a loop by, right now? By, by, <laughs> are we, we going to wake up again? <laughs> oh, <laughs> <of a> loop. <laughs> no, no, don't, don't worry. If you die here, you really die. And all right, uh, let me ask you a quick question. Um, do you have some kind of bullshit power that like turns us into a previous version of ourselves? No. Okay, I stab her. Okay, we're on a mission to the... I gave her... I tried to persuade her this time, Duros. You can't say otherwise, all right? Um, no, you tried your best. She really looked like she wanted to take us Are out. we back to full health? You guys are... Back no, we health. have what we have You, before, you guys yeah. are at the health that you guys were at pre... Um, after after Clockwork Dragon Fight. So, Doxy, she Doxy's so dejected she's she didn't depressed. get a knife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doxy's like, oh fuck, I don't have my big fucking knife. I don't have my big fucking knife. How am I supposed to even fucking fight? <laughs> I can get a Doxy a knife. That's one thing we can find in this world. Okay, yeah. find me a sniper rifle. <laughs> I'll try to get you a Barrack Fifty, Cal. I'd one of these days. Yeah. All right, so Verona, you begin the fight. She's sort of bouncing there. She's turned into like half, you know, hybrid jellyfish girl form um her like right. head has got like almost like a big and she's spinning around this umbrella in her hands and she's just sort of like dancing all right <laughs> uh, i'm just gonna assume that i saw william going for the strike so i'm just gonna take three shots at her real fast she with sharpshooter like yeah go ahead yeah because i was right in just to see what she's made of here realize that's yeah, the waters bam 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 okay Ooh. Ooh. um yeah you oh, you what? Sorry, is it minus? Yeah, you hit. It's minus five. Minus yeah, five, you hit. but still. You hit oh, three, three times. Yeah, you hit all three. Oh, we start in strong games. Okay. And then so, plus 30? 29 plus 30, yeah, 59. What's, what, okay. Total. So this is what happens, bro. I didn't think this would happen straight away, but. So you okay. fire off 59 points of damage towards her, and you fire off these shots, and they rip her in half. Uh, the Jesus. bullets fly through her body, and she. Whoop, and now there's two of her. She did yep, take the there damage. There we go. She That's did, not good. She did take the damage. Um, uh, copy paste. That was my, not on purpose. My roll twenty is actually <laughs> acting up. I don't know why. Um, <clears throat> there she is. And then that damage is divided. Well, what is half of fifty? Twenty-five. 
Yes. So the damage is divided between the two of them. Oh and she my. goes, oh, wow, you guys are really strong. Uh, the director warned me about you. Uh, but, you know, woo, woo. she's still like doing a little dance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is not good. <laughs> All right. Yay. Okay. Well, guess we'll figure out how many times she could do that. Yeah. Probably a limit at some point. This turn. All right, that's all you're going to do this turn? Yeah. Okay. So, um, Pearl, it, it's more than 25 damage because you did 59 damage, right? So, yeah, a little bit more than that. Okay. So, Pearl and Cyril's turn to go. And Pearl goes over to the captain and goes, Should we just kill, kill her? I, I, or actually, attacking her might not be a great idea. Maybe try to just subdue her so she can't fight. Subdue back. her? Uh, okay, I don't really have any way of doing that, uh, but, uh, Cyril? She's made of water! You can control water! Do what? something Th with that! I don't I know! I can't! I'm, I'm Pearl! Yeah, Cyril! That's why I went to Cyril! I thought it was Don't, don't get mad at me, it's, Captain! It's the time loopers. I just... <laughs> your brain around. I, that's why I literally turned to Cyril to say, can you do something about this? Because he's the water boy! Don't get mad at me, okay. I'm the fire girl! We're like Shark Boy okay. and Lava Girl! Okay, like... then, ex then extinguish! Oh, that's a good That's a good couple name for you two. But anyway, just... <laughs> Evaporate them! Oh, I don't know! I'm um, Cyril, I... W w okay. <laughs> um, Cyril is going to try and... Uh, uh, Alright, I guess Cyril is going to try and manipulate the water inside of the jellyfish-like body. So, I'm going to just make um, her do a saving throw. If this works. Uh, so she has to do a, I'm going to say, a constitution save. And she gets a 13. So uh. this is what happens. Cyril is trying to, like, the watery jellyfish body of Aria, Cyril tries to, like, restrain and take control of. Um, 13 is a fail in this instance, but she will use one of her legendary resistances in this moment oh. to, to sort of, like... <laughs> Oh, but that, that one's a little bit tricky. I wasn't informed about the water one. Um, Aria says as she's continuously bouncing around. Uh, Duras, what are you going to do? Right then. It's time to put this to good use as I uh, draw up my blade. I don't want to call you yet, friend. But a name is a legacy that needs to be forged. All right. <laughs> um... And, okay, so there's two of them. Yeah. Uh, they both look weakened. Um, I'll, I'll just go to the one that I can reach. Can yeah, I yeah, reach yeah. at least one of them? Okay. Yeah, yeah, you definitely can. <laughs> I'll, go, I'll go to at least one that I can reach here. Um, Sweet. And then, uh, there's a Logia one, so she's bouncing around. Uh, she's a she Zoan. Went... She's not a Logia. Oh, she's a Zoan? It's a jellyfish oh, Zoan. She's she just replicates every yeah. time she takes a certain amount of damage, probably. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, then I guess I will try... Hmm. Don't know what to do here. You know what? I'm gonna try to uh, grapple strike her uh, to restrain her a little bit to stop her from bouncing around so much. <laughs> so, <laughs> maybe I can, you know, do something here. So let's quit do bouncing. Uh, stop. Does that even hit? Does a 17 hit? It just doesn't. Okay then, I will try yeah. it again. That does hit. And I did not lose my. Oh! <laughs> oh! oh critically well. hits. All right, then we, we go. Then. Um, and Is this a maneuver uh, that you're doing? Like a. Yeah, I'm gonna do a grapple maneuver. Is that so, a? Gee, I didn't uh, even know that was a maneuver type. Uh, it's a Get strength grappled. athletics check. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, okay. Are you, are you just grappling? I'm grappling her. Okay, yes. okay. It's not a maneuver. It's just a grapple. No, no. It is. A, it is a maneuver. Grappling strike. Oh, is it really? Oh my god! Yes. Oh my god! You, you can expand one superiority die and then try to grapple oh. the target as a bonus action. Wow, color me stupid. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know. That's sick. Let's All go. Right, so I'm gonna do an athletics check here and then add this. And, to been, and then try to grapple target so as a bonus eight, action. Add eight to my athletics. Uh, uh, and add your superiority tie to the uh, athletics Jesus check. Jesus Christ! So she has to beat a thirty-four. <laughs> yeah, oh, very difficult. Okay, so um, do you want to do your damage as well? That's also important oh, in this yes, instance. Of course. Damage um, goes first because you're you're grappling as a bonus action in this instance. 
Um, so that and that. So the 12 is the damage that you get back as, because it was the first attack, that you get as your uh, temporary hit points. So as your sword slices into Agent Arya, um, you, you feel stronger, you feel more resilient, and your sword glows this lovely um, aqua color. Um, and the to total damage that she took is... 11 plus 6 plus 12. She takes 29 damage, uh, which means she doesn't split. But so you you cut into her and you're she's going to try and resist this grapple. But I really think there is no way that um, she, she can use acrobatics, right? Uh, yeah. OK, that's or can she actually? Uh, I don't know. Let me let me look at grappling strike. Does it say I, I, I copy pasted? <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm, uh, <laughs> It, you try and grapple the target as a bonus action. Uh, see the player's handbook for rules and grappling. I think you can do. Oh yeah, yeah. She could use that. She can use that. Yeah. She can use acrobatics. It, okay. It's just, it's just normal grappling. All right. Well, so, let's yeah. take a look. Twenty-seven. Oh. But no. Nope. But, but she has to beat. What does she have to beat? Right. It was a thirty-four. Thirty-four. <laughs> there was a chance. There was a chance. She. No, there wasn't a chance she could have beaten that. Actually. Uh, <laughs> so I don't even know why I bothered rolling. So you. Uh, you grapple one of them onto the ground, uh, I assume. Yes. Or are you grappling onto the ground, or are you just holding her in your arms? Uh, I'm trying to restrain her, yes. But on the ground or so in I, your in your arms? I guess I, I guess on the ground. Then, okay. Yes. You push her down onto the ground. He goes, "Woo! <laughs> <laughs> wow! Stop this nonsense at once, lady! <laughs> uh, this is fun. This is fun." Ooh. We're having a little bit of a rumbly tumbly. <laughs> oh I my god. Uh, okay, she's weird. <laughs> less annoying, less annoying <laughs> than Cleo, though. Less annoying than Cleo. Okay. No, it's a. Uh, I oh, agree, Captain. Uh, she's she's so much better than Cleo. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Significant. Just, everyone just started bashing Cleo. Like, man, fuck Cleo. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Jimmy's like, hey, who was Cleo? She knocked. <laughs> <laughs> hey, okay. Let's all just sit around and talk about Cleo and how much we all hate her. <laughs> okay. Olaf's like, I do not know Cleo, but I respect any member of the Eight Flames from the past except for Valentine and V because we don't like them. Olaf! And... <laughs> I think I like V better. <laughs> Tempest turns to Ragnar and goes, V blew up pregnant ladies. But at least he was honest about it. Yeah. I fuck? don't think Cleo was dishonest. What the fuck? <laughs> I think Cleo was definitely honest. In Ragnar's mind, everything that Cleo said in her <laughs> shitty voice was just like a lie and terrible. Oh, no. <laughs> Listen, the Devil's Lock morality is crazy because you guys would oh, excuse the, the most heinous shit, but if someone's annoying, unforgivable. <laughs> Uh, have you been a pirate? Do you know the rules? <laughs> I guess I mean, so. V is, a terrible, v is a terrible person. We all hated him, too. It's like yeah. V and then, like, Cleo. V was yeah. awful. Cleo was up there, though. I mean, annoying, that's, you know. All right, well, Olaf's going to charge against... Uh, Just um, barrel and... <laughs> barrel. Wait, wait. wait. V. Cleo. Uh, <laughs> Olaf goes, Olaf, should I attack the one on the ground or the one not on the ground? Uh, attack the one not on the ground. Olaf. We'll take care of that one. All right. One, two, three. Let's rock and roll. Um, he hits two of them. And does 44 damage. Ooh, okay. So she just takes it. So she takes the full 44 damage um, as the as Olaf just axes into her jellyfish-like body. Um, mm. Okay. And then it's also Tempest. Uh... Uh, Tempest like pushes up her glasses and goes, I have to be careful about this. I, I want to take the other one. And she's, I don't know, going to do some fucking spell because that's what she does. Yeah, she's the only one in this campaign that actually has legit magic. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> she's just got a weather devil fruit. Um, uh -huh. But she doesn't have, you know, she used some spell slots in the other. Fucking Williams disappeared. Um... Oh, welcome back. He's got a sword. Um, I just had to. I just had to grab my sword. Okay, you know? all of her shit is AOE spells though, so then she's not gonna do that yeah. with Duras on top. So she's going to use, God, literally all AOE spells. Okay, she has to use a not AOE. You have a single, we might oh need God. that because, actually. Well, because this. well, the thing is, all of her stuff is weather based, right? So 
Mm. You could only have spells that were pertaining to weather, and weather is inherently AOE. Weather affects everyone, right? An ice storm. Uh, ice, uh, isolated hail a ch- on you one know, square. Um, isolated hail. Uh, yeah. sleep. Oh God, she wait, wait, hold up. She generally would hit Duros with any of these moves. I mean, can she? Could she like shout over to us for us to move out of the way for her to do this later? Um, I mean, yeah, but Duros is Duros pinning. Has it's a more high than armor class. Oh, but yeah, take a Duros is pinning. That's the problem. I'm restraining one. Ha-ha, Tempest, one Tempest, go ahead. Duros has armor and I can dodge shit. Go ahead. I can't dodge. That's good. I'm restraining. <laughs> but you that. have armor, though. Oh my. Okay. <laughs> okay, she'll do a lightning bolt then. Yeah, um, we, you can take that. Oh, that'll work. Yeah. Uh, no, that would hit. Wait, no. If she does it in a straight line here, it will only hit Duros and Arya. Um, so she, she, she runs Is down. Is it guaranteed hit both, though? No. No, they have to do saving throws. And oh, Arya she... has disadvantage on the saving throw. This Could is she... exactly like Goku fucking well, yeah, holding she can't, Reddit. She can't yeah. So Piccolo can shoot yeah. a fucking lightning bolt through. Couldn't Jesus she have moved Christ. over to the left so, and hit the other one, though? I make a con save or something. <laughs> All right. Um, um I'm going to try and block it with my shield, at least. Yeah. Uh, and this might be good for you, actually. You might absorb some lightning damage. Oh, yes, yeah. this might be good being attacked no, by my friends. Wait, no, <laughs> he's made of, you have metal armor. The lightning will hit you, travel through you, and hit her. It's... There you go, problem solved. She goes, um, I hope this is okay with you, Duras, but you might feel a little bit of a sting. Uh, it's a shit roll. Uh, <laughs> That's an wow. awful, huh, are you kidding me? That's like one of the worst lightning bolts ever. Do your saving throw, but... Two, 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 uh, two, it, two, it, two, I didn't one. save. You'd still take half damage because of your thing. I um, did take half, so it's nine. I'm not even going to do the roll for Aria. She's just going to take the 18 damage. It's fucking pointless. She... <laughs> it's just like a pit of... I think Tempest was really worried about hurting you, Duros, and goes... Psst, psst, oh, no, I don't, you know... And she just sort of looks away as she pitifully <laughs> splurges oh, a little bit of lightning. Jeez! Oh, that... I felt a little tingly on side. <laughs> oh, oh my. Okay, William, now it's your turn. Alright, uh, well, I said I was gonna stab her, so I gotta stab her. Gonna do that. Alright, stab her. Yep. That she, and you have advantage on this attack because she is restrained. You're in front of oh, the yeah, restrained right. one. Aha! Uh, so yeah, you hit. Not, gr- not that fantastic, but still good enough to hit her. Nice, that's crazy damage. Thir- 39. Um, can I also... I don't think I've ever done this before, but can I use my bonus action to roll my devil fruit and not do anything with it? Yeah, 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 yeah of course. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I don't think I've ever stabbed and then rolled before. <laughs> <laughs> wow, we're treading new territory here. You've never stabbed and then rolled? It's always been roll and then stab. It's always been... Yeah, 334. <laughs> okay. Oh, God. I, f- I feel like 334 feels familiar. Yeah. Um, let's take a look at 334. Sneak attack. Oh, that's included in there. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. That's what the 31 damage it's is. Always included in there. I'm doing 39 damage without the sneak attack. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Um, you got the Demi Demi no Me. You can access to a little pocket dimension. You can use it for storage. Um, oh. Okay. Uh, well, okay. You can use it for storage and you can also put other things into it. However, if you leave. Uh, they are ejected from the pocket dimension, is what it says here. So I like open up, I like open up a portal. Yeah, it's like a little space, you know. Okay. It's almost like a domain expansion <laughs> for you. Uh, I have, I haven't watched JJK. Okay, fair uh, enough. So <laughs> it's a little pocket dimension, and you can like shape okay. the pocket dimension as well. And you could yeah, bring, cool. I mean, obviously you could bring people into it the same way that you could bring anyone into any room. Um, but right. if you leave it, you can't just bring someone in there and leave it there. If you leave, then. All right, I have an idea. Okay, we could do something with that. Okay. Pretty cool, though. Pretty cool ability. It's awesome. Yeah. It's pretty sick. Why not? Ragnar, you're up. Ragnar, there's one on the ground, and there's one not on the ground. I don't get why we're we're taking it easy on them, trying to restrain them. I think we just need to take care of them real quick. Yep. Man, my head is pounding. Goes into a rage and turns into a big bear. Oh! Holy shit. All right, big bear time. We gotta settle this quickly. I don't. I can't handle this right now. Walks forward. Let's 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 kill this stupid jellyfish. Okay. And the one that's on the f- ground. Yes. With Duros next to, I just swing down twice with my. You have advantage. Oh wait, mm. no, but you're you're. Well, I'm recklessly right. attacking. 
And, but, okay. Someone on the ground. You don't need a reckless if you do. No, no, no. It's, but to. he has disadvantage because of. Okay. He has disadvantage oh, yeah, because of right, his ex- exhaustion. Because of his addiction. Awesome, I forgot. Uh, okay. So, this is double advantage and singular disadvantage. So, I'm rolling yeah. it as singular advantage. You do have an advantage of these attacks. Go ahead. Take this, you stupid fish. Hits. <laughs> Jellyfish. Those both hit. Alright. Um, I, w- I, w- I wish I could frenzy. I can't. I'm too tired for that. I am, I am too tired for this right now. Jesus Christ. I wish I could frenzy. Too tired to frenzy. <laughs> I wish I could. Does that hit the threshold? No, it doesn't. 37. Okay. So you cut in for 37 damage on the jelly uh, girl on the ground. Uh, oh, I didn't even take off the 39 for the other one. Um, and you, you're you really pummeling. I mean, how are you slicing up a jelly-like body? I, like, s- since she's restrained, I, like, put the axe to, like, her head. Yeah. And then pull back and swing. Holy <laughs> shit. God, it just splatters jelly over it's, Yeah. <laughs> Ah, I don't know why you guys are kicking it. She easy sort of on her, glows to, like, with every hit. Uh, but She's clearly trying to kill us, and we warned her. Okay, it is now her turn, which is two of them, so they're both going to take their turns. Um, Agent Aria on the ground is going to uh, grabbing her her umbrella that she sort of has on the ground behind her. She conduits chain lightning on Ragnar, Duras, and William. So all three of you need to make a dexterity saving throw. Okay. Oh well, I mean, I I just do call. You just do call. Yeah. Let's see uh, if, it works if I this succeed time. on this. Yeah. Ah, Does and that that's gonna be ten d eight. Twenty six. I take no damage with evasion. Uh, yeah. William saves Ragnar and Noble. Do not. Duras, do not. I use indomitable. Uh, and roll again. Roll again. <laughs> all right. And that oh, one does hey. save. So, Let's go. Ragnar, you take 45 electrical damage as it zaps your system. Noble, Duros, uh, she's trying to zap you while you're on top of her, but you're slamming the fucking shield into her face, <laughs> and it's all getting <laughs> absorbed into the shield. The shield's got eat mouth up. open. <laughs> friend, eat up, friend. <laughs> and, and William, you're just fucking dancing around the lightning dude, bolts dude. like crazy. Yeah, see, I could dance, I could bounce too. All yeah, right. check she it out. She still has four tentacle attacks. She has disadvantage in all these attacks, but she is going to, uh, her, her floaty tentacles are gonna try and strike you. Actually, this one's on the ground, and I think this one is gonna almost entirely go against Duros here. Um, well then, that makes sense. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> that really makes sense. So four jellyfish stings come your way, Doris. They none of them m- might hit because <laughs> critically fails one. And they all have disadvantage. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I do have to. Do- oh, wait, I didn't roll them with disadvantage. Um, so we'll just take the. We'll, we'll say that first one is thirteen, and the second one is ten, and then we'll do two more. Um, okay. Because she might cr- uh, critically fail again. Uh, okay. Well, that's unfair oh. to say that one hit by doing that method. <laughs> okay. It's, it's, no, it's because it's only the first. You can only attack three times, right? Four times. Yeah, yeah. So oh, four times I, I was saying yeah. 19 and 13 is with disadvantage, 10 and 12, 14 and 21, and 28 and 27. But yeah. uh, it, it seems kind of unfair that I had four that missed and then uh, by imposing disadvantage meant that it hits. So that feels weird. So he just she just misses. I was just double checking to see if there was any uh, other critical fails. So she actually is going to hit herself with the jellyfix sting and take 24 damage on herself. <laughs> Lady! Um, I mean... Just sort of, this isn't the way. It's okay. You. What are you doing just squirming there? This is not what you should be doing. Well, there is one other, and the one next to her who oh. is not uh, restrained is going to try... She's spreading her load a little bit. So one what of these the is going... What the fuck? <laughs> 25 <laughs> does hit Duros. Right. Oh shit. Uh, yes, that does indeed. What hit is me. her load? Uh, can I just use my ring to turn that to a ten? You sure can. It ten, nine, does what? Does a nineteen hit Doros? I assume not. No. So, no. so you use the ring. So she, the the fucking jellyfish tentacle flings out to hit Doros, but for some reason it misses. Some sort of luck, time, something like that, messes with it, and um, you can see like. It's almost like you can see the dice rolling in real time, and ch- and you're looking at the dice, and the numbers magically change with uh, Verona's says, ring. If you could change your fate, if you could change <laughs> your fate, <laughs> right. change your fate. One's gonna go towards William here, misses. Uh, one towards Olaf, hits. 
Olaf takes 16 damage and has to do a constitution saving throw. Uh, we'll do that in a second because one more is going to fly out towards Ragnar. Uh, 21, does that hit? Yes. Okay, so Ragnar, you take 16. Both Olaf and Ragnar have to do constitution saves. Wait, where's Ragnar? Uh, he's a big bear. He's far. Year. The tentacles have a. Ah, have a did yeah. I Zawolfo? You Zawolfo the tentacle? Yeah, oh, yes. okay. You um, pose disadvantage on the roll. Let's go. Um, and she critically fails. Let's go. <laughs> What a life, huh? Eight <laughs> attacks, eight attacks, and only one of them oh. was successful. Insane. Oh. You guys Lady. are incredibly powerful. Like, <laughs> when you're not facing like a Yonko and you're just facing some person of some organization, you guys are like crazy strong. So, uh, yeah, she fucking hits herself with 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 the 60 damage instead on this one. Um, Olaf still has to do the con save though. Um, but I guess it doesn't matter because Olaf isn't any of you guys. Oh. <laughs> Olaf is, does a con save. Fails the con save and is poisoned. So he has oh, disadvantage no! on all of his attack rolls for a turn. But we'll I'm wait and see what happens damage. next. Yeah. Um, Olaf goes, I do not feel so good, my friends. Oh. Ugh. Um, now it is Doxy and Jimmy's turn. And they're like, fucking hell, you guys dodged all of those uh, little tentacles like it was fucking nothing. Doxy, well, you don't I mean, need to, you don't need to fight if you right don't now. want to, it's fine. We can just sit out of this, should I just head back to the ship? Honestly, yeah. Yeah, all right, me and Jimmy, we're back to the ship, we'll meet you there. Okay, we'll take care of this. Okay, so they all just right. start running fun. past. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Genuinely. <laughs> tell, Gra tell Gravy to put on the turkey. It's gonna be a... <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Some kind of cool one line. I wonder what jellyfish tastes like. Yeah. All right. Staring yeah, at tell the Gravy to boil some hell? salt water. Look, look. My friends are about to eat you. Your name was Arya, right? <laughs> you should probably give up. <laughs> they probably will eat you. I don't want that to happen. I mean, I'm a bear after all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like whispering this to her, like trying to reason with this. Yeah, one. yeah, and she seems beyond reason for some strange reason. Uh, oh, yeah. She just smiles. Um, Verona, it's your turn. All right. Well, now that I know what's kind of going on, I'm just going to animate the rifle of injustice next to me. Yeah. So like an extra attack. <laughs> Democracy. <laughs> Democracy. <laughs> and then. Uh, Three rifle attacks with sharpshooter. Great. They all hit. All hit, all hit. Which one? You, also... you, you're hitting the restrained one or the non-restrained one? Uh, I'm going to go with the non-restrained okay, yep. one. Okay, yeah, go ahead. Six, oh, if it was six, 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 that would have been incredible. <laughs> I thought it was six, six, six so for a second It's just 50 there, yeah. damage even. Oh, okay, that. 50 damage even? All right, so you hit with the bullets and they, they cut through her and she splits into two pieces. Uh -oh. Why is it only me doing this bullshit? <laughs> <laughs> I gotta stop shooting her. Uh, and oh my god, right. there's, a third, there's a third fish. Uh, and I so can't remember. Do I get an attack with the... The rifle? You get, you get one turn, attack. Next you, you do, as part of the animate and attack, you can do that. So yes, yes, you can. Okay, then... Uh, I'm just gonna... Sh okay. If that's the, the one on the left of the ones that just split. Well, no, no, I, no. If that's the case, it, she's not going to split until you do that attack because it's, oh, okay, it's fine, at the fine. end of your right turn. That works. Um, well, I don't think that one hits with minus five. So. Also, oh, I, I don't know if you can use sharpshooter on your animated objects, even if they are weapons, like guns. Oh. it's for ranged well, attacks. It's technically not. <laughs> so it does hit. Never mind. <laughs> so an extra nineteen damage. Adding. So uh, what is that? Sixty-nine damage. Sixty-nine total. damage. What's half of sixty-nine? Uh, like 34. 34, 34. Yeah, 35. Yeah, fuck it, 34. Uh, so they, they both take 34 damage, but they do split. Ah, uh, there she's splitting. Wee! <laughs> she seems giddy. Giddy with glee. Um, uh, okay. Well, Pearl goes, they're fucking splitting. What do... Um, it doesn't what? seem like Cyril's strong enough to be able to control them. Should we just burn them? Yeah, just flame claw them. <laughs> okay, she flies up to flame claw them as Cyril's gonna fling aqua bolts from a distance. Yeah, that works, yeah. Okay. Uh... Gotta be a limit to how many times they can split. 
I say that as like by the end of this battle, there's like 72 of them. Like they're just filling <laughs> up the whole screen. Um, I don't know why she had advantage on, but they both hit actually, surprisingly. So she goes up and claws into one. Cyril blasts the other. Um, I don't know why it's done twice. Like that. So, oh wait, he's done. Wait, wait, what's the total damage? Hold up. 12 plus 10 plus 20 is 42. Okay, so she goes in to claw one of them, the flaming claw whipping across the jellyfish body. Cyril punches in with a aqua bolt flying out. She's hit with fire and water at the same time. Uh, buffer buffeting her. Duras, it's your move. Ooh, buffeting. Um, you see, Duras at this point, uh, he's restraining her, and uh, he's like, uh, uh, is there anything wrong with you, madame? Why are you so driven <laughs> to do this? <laughs> I've got a job and I've got to get it done. I've got a job and I've got to get it done. Even if it costs you your life? No, 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 no. It's not going to cost me my life. Don't you see the situation you <laughs> <laughs> Look! And she she points over at her, um, her, her like, copies of herself. I, I self-multiply. Do you think I came down as, as just a singular person? There's another me! Wait, uh, there's another- wait, there's another you out- it, like, Back what? at base! I'm good! <laughs> oh! Oh! Alright! Oh, I'm just... so you gave us reasons just to kill you then, no problem. Oh, perfect! Now we don't have to have any little lemon of remorse. Okay, cool. Oh, that's fine with me! <laughs> Alright! Well, honestly... I'm doing my job! Oh, the director's gonna be so happy with me! How many Maybe times I'll get promoted! Do... How many times can you do this splitting trick? Oh, I can do it as many times as I, it's it's it, it's not really it's not really like a conscious thing. It's like a, uh, if I get hurt enough, you know. Okay. So your people hurt you to split you. I hurt myself. It's fine. Oh, this is very. Concerning. Cut myself in half. I cut two. This is very concerning. Wee, wee, wee. I talk to somebody. Uh, Listen, I've hurt myself so much that pain doesn't really hurt anymore. You get used to things. You'll be surprised at okay. what the human body oh can get God, used to. She's a masochist. Gamers, I have a <laughs> right. legitimate question that I don't remember. Do we still have the sea stone handcuffs? I thought we lost those. Uh, I think we lost those a while ago. I don't have them on my list. Yeah, I don't know. Right, you definitely yeah. don't I have them on your list. I thought we lost them. To, uh, it yeah, might I be we lost them a long time ago. Yeah. I know we've attempted to use them a couple times. Yeah, we were. I really thought they broke it like G4 or whatever. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Maybe I'm trying. I don't think I don't we know. have them. Sounds like you are not. No, you 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 used them on Blake. Blake has them. Oh, okay, that's okay, right. oh yeah, yeah Blake has it. All right, there you go. Uh, at this point, uh, Doris is like, all right, then. It's time that we end this, then. Uh, and I'm going to use uh, Hex. Yeah, Hex yeah, yeah, your, 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 well, hold up, hold up. It's not Hex. It's your Conqueror's Haki. Oh, my Conqueror's yeah, Haki. Yeah, it's your Conqueror's right. Haki. It's <laughs> not, it's not, it's not, the, say, it's not the Dungeons and Dragons spell Hex. That doesn't exist in this universe. It, exist, it is your Conqueror's Haki. You stare down at this, uh... <laughs> at, this, at this girl and she smiles up at you um okay and you use your conqueror's haki to weaken her defenses and then yeah and then uh, i whip out good old trusty um what's, in, what's the name benevolence. <laughs> not benevolence <laughs> no, no no it's not its name right now um but i'll it's like then we shall deal justice um and that's my bonus action so yeah i can't do anything else so, is that the uh, name uh, no, 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 it's not the name. I'm not calling it that. You're not calling it Justice? Okay. It's just question Every time right you say there. some sort of, like, noun, I'm like, is that the name? <laughs> yeah. They're like, we're going to take her to the cleaners. Is it cleaners? Is that the name? <laughs> is it cleaners? Is it... <laughs> I, will, I will decide the name probably another episode, because I didn't know. I, I need to tell you. <laughs> it was a lot like, come up with a name right now, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, like, I, I can't just do that right now. I need, I need something that will make You got to think fast on your feet. All right, so uh, you have advantage on these we... rolls, by the way. So let's just take. Oh, that's right. That's let's right. Let's just take that uh, first one as a thirty. Let's just roll. Yeah. Just roll three times again. Uh, two, three. All right, so okay, don't well, worry. You you hit all three yeah. of your attacks then. Yeah. So it's thirty, twenty-one, oh, okay. and twenty-five. Okay. Uh, very good. Then uh, I'm just going to. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> nice. And then the the what's the hex dude? It's like one d six or something. Yeah, per hit, right? Yes. So, 3d6. Duros, right, you're, you're a hex girl. Oh, uh, but you're... Yeah, 3d6. Right, 3d6. I'll do this. 
Oh, so it's seven extra damage. <laughs> Lucky you. <laughs> Holy okay. moly, three more damage. Wow. I don't know if you guys figured out the damage threshold yet, but... Um, <laughs> you, you, you do a solid 47 damage into her body, and she doesn't split. Um, Ooh. And you're just fucking ramming your blade into her, cutting into her as she's flailing in a sort of jellyfish mess on the ground. Um, yes. Right, it is It is now... Is that your turn? Yeah, that's all I can do. All right, it is now Olaf's turn. He's going to... He's now poisoned, so he has disadvantage on all these attacks, but he's still gonna go fucking crazy on this bitch. She's, <laughs> he's gonna go mental on her. One. Polar bear. Polar bear. Uh, oh god. Wait. Ooh. Eh. Ooh. Uh, wait, so one hits, two hits actually. Ah, <laughs> ah but he, he hits that magic number. And. Um. 53 as Olaf slices into her and slices her clean in half as you bloop into two more copies of herself. And she Jesus. divides and she takes half of that each, so 20. God, there's so many of them. So now there are four of her. And, oh my and she God. sort of giggles, but they all slightly giggle out of time with each other and it's like a chorus of giggles. <laughs> uh, there's sort of like uh-huh. creepy cacophony of um, delight and Olaf has to do another constitution saving throw at the end of his turn oh yeah he's poisoned he, he has to do another one he fails Ooh. and he's now paralyzed oh, and he fuck. cannot move okay. at all suddenly he's like Olaf cut <laughs> and now he is paralyzed in place and does anybody of- have an EpiPen <laughs> <laughs> um, okay okay now William you're up there's all right, four of uh, them now yeah, I noticed. Okay, I have yet to use my cheat for today. So I'm going to use that, and I'm going to declare a number of my devil fruit. Um, four. Have I done 400 yet? Wait, no, hold on. Let me. Oh, you're going to cheat? Oh, yeah. Sweet, sweet, sweet. I'm doing, I'm doing my cheat where I pick a number, but I don't know if I've... Can you tell me if I've picked 400 yet? I don't think you have, no. Okay, well, hold on. I'm trying to think if I want 400. <laughs> <laughs> oh, four, oh. oh one, um, three three ninety nine three ninety nine. I'm going with three ninety nine. Okay, you you do three ninety nine. It is the yes. sooner sooner no me. It's crocodile's okay. fruit. I already got Whoa. crocodile's fruit. Have you? I already did. Uh, yes, I've rolled crocodile's fruit before. Ah uh, well, then pick another number, bitch. <laughs> I just okay. Four hundred and one. Then there you go. Um, Gora Gora no me. Uh, by as and by and now. Oh my god, that's so good against her. <laughs> all right, wait, that is really good against her. Shit, she's all oh, water. Go away! <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit! Yeah. Who's casting the chain lightning now? <laughs> yeah, you could you could chain lightning and hit because it's three other targets besides uh, the source. So you can cast chain lightning and it would hit all of her. All right, let's do that. Do you want to do it? <laughs> yeah, I have the power. Okay, fuck. I like charge up lightning sword like true eight of spades and I just stab her right through and cast lightning. Chain lightning. Holy <laughs> shit. Okay, so I need you to roll 10d8 for me. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, hold on a second. Let's do it here. And she's gonna do 10d8. Haha! That's a good one. 41's Shoosh. decent. Um, and she is going to. Uh. Okay, I've got to. I've got to do her. She's got four <laughs> deck saves here. One of them with disadvantage because that's the. Oh, uh, I hope she fails all of them. So that's uh, against my save. All right, so that's she fails that one, fails that one, fails three of them. Uh, is is yeah. it ironic that the the one yeah. on the ground is the one that succeeds? Yeah. Well, <laughs> my save. My save is eighteen. So, so the rest of them fail, and they all yeah. take about eighty damage each. Because uh, the lightning Jeez. vaporizes oh. their body, right? I'm like fucking Thor right now, uh, like lightning yeah. eyes and shit. Like, <laughs> that is gonna kill all of them except for the <laughs> uh, the one on the ground. It takes half damage and it doesn't quite kill her. She's very weak. But you you chain lightly and just evaporate all of these fucking <laughs> oh uh, jellyfish girls. They go. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> and they, they all just explode. Oh my god, even before her big turn where she was gonna get like 20 attacks, you just explode <laughs> them all. The one on the ground okay. takes 40 damage, which isn't even the threshold for, for division. So she's 
there, weak on the ground, and Ragnar. Ragnar finisher off. Captain, that was so cool. Uh, that was the that, coolest thing the, I've ever seen. That's the coolest fucking fruit I've ever I've ever rolled. That's awesome. And Ragnar goes from his happy self and then just looks down in Big Bear form towards the jelly on the floor below him and just says, "I know this won't really kill you, <laughs> but you should, you, but you should really, you should still feel. You, wait." You should still fear the devil's luck. Because <laughs> well, I don't know. I fulfilled my plan. I successfully located you guys, and I wasted your time. Yeah, you successfully made an enemy of the devil's luck pirates. We've been looking for a new adversary to take on. Looks like the void police might be next. And steps forward, swings his, the executioner axe. Uh, with reckless attacks, so it's yeah. the advantage. But. Yep, that hits. Oh, I mean that crit that critically hits. Just do the fucking damage. Lightning I have a feeling this won't be the last Ragnar. time you see us. Yeah. Yeah. She only has ten hit points remaining, so uh, you just. Uh, she still smiles as you are you de just decapitating her, cutting her in half. Uh, you just slice her in half, and her in this point her body does not divide. She just dies here. Um, at least this version of her. And you just see the weird jellyfish ooze splurt out of her body, and then her weird sort of jellyfish remains on the ground. Um, Tempest looks disgusted at the mess. Mm. And goes, well, that was unfortunate. What was that she said about wasting our time? I rock it off toward the ship. I like yeah, just Geppo, yeah. Geppo and Good idea. and just run as fast <laughs> as I can. Yeah. Okay, probably go to the ship. Right, uh, and Olaf goes, Help, I am paralyzed! Oh! <laughs> oh no. Ragnar, you might want to uh, grab him. <laughs> Olaf, I got you. And it's like, throw him over my shoulder because I'm still in Big Bear. Yeah. Wait, I can, wait, I can move at the speed of fucking lightning! I'm a Logia! Yeah, he goes, oh. zoom! <laughs> Alright, so I get to the ship in less than a second. All um, right. <laughs> and everyone else is rushing to the ship. Paul, Cyril, and I can Verona. fly, too. Okay, cool. Nice. Okay. I could, fly. yeah. All right. So what is William C? Oh, yeah, well, once do you I get once there? you get on the once you get to the ship, you're fine. Ship is fine. You get there. Lissa's right. like tinkering on some stuff. She goes, Ah, oh, William, um, I've just been working on some of the scraps we found in the cave. You guys got back really quick. Well, not yeah. so quick. I, um, how you doing, Lissa? I'm the god of thunder and lightning now. Oh, that's ah, that's perfect. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm just working the parts of the spaceship. I, I might be able to construct it, but I'm not really sure what we could use for fuel and whatnot. And she's just has mindlessly any, talking. Has anything weird been happening? At no, all? nothing. Anything? At, nothing at all over here on the ship. Um, Everybody's safe. Luna, every, yeah, every, Aster, the, Luna's everybody? just chilling there. Aster's like, like fucking writing something in a book. Luna's there. Okay. She's drinking tea with gravy, and they're all just chilling. And as you guys, I assume everyone else is getting onto the ship. Yeah, when they we, get there, because I just warped right over. Yeah, yeah. yeah Eventually, yeah. you guys get to the ship, sort of rush into the ship, and as you guys all board the ship, um, uh, suddenly you see this large light f come from the sky and shoot down and vaporize the entire island that you are on. And your okay. boat is rocked by a giant wave of force. It is pushed away from the island. And I mean, you guys, honestly, there was no risk of your death, really, because you got through that combat pretty quickly. It was only like three rounds. Um, yeah, it but, was like 30 seconds. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't as, you know, you, you guys finished her off fast. So you your reward for finishing her off her fast was there was no sort of sense of urgency there. Wait, oh, wait, if we didn't finish her off quick enough, would we have just died? Boom, yeah. Holy uh, <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> 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 Yeah, that, that was her job was just to keep you guys distracted. Um, oh, man, so okay. The, 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 the ship is pushed back by the force of the energy as you see a giant crater appear in the center of the island. And you Jeez. look up and you, you almost see like a dark shadow in the sky, but you see it moving away. Um, do I still naturally. have the lightning fruit? Yeah, you do. I'm going to follow it. I can move at the speed of lightning. I'm a Logia. Sweet. I, I, I'm just going to zip up to the clouds to see what it is. All right. You, yeah. I, well, okay. 
Okay, okay, I, I need to know the, the parameters of the lightning fruit. Okay, Anaru could turn into lightning and he could travel anywhere in the entire island in less than a second. It's Sweet. one of the most OP I, Loki's no, 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 I, get, I, get, I, no, no, I, I get that, yeah. I get that, I get that for <laughs> base thing. I just mean in terms of, like, out, up... Like through, vertical? Like vertical, like for, flight reason, right, right? I mean... I mean, I, I, like, I assume, assume you can get to the clouds. I assume you can get to the clouds. Okay. Oh, easily. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It might so, take him like ten seconds. Yeah, yeah. You. I don't know. <laughs> the speed of lightning is pretty damn fast. Yeah. Sweet, sweet, even. sweet. Yeah, it's a speed thing, but it's not. You know, it's not quite. Okay, okay, okay. This is what I say. You, yeah. you, you, lightning up to the clouds, and as your heads go through the clouds, you see, sort of in the planet's orbit, um, this, um. It must have been on the other side of the planet when you guys went up to planet Duros because okay. you see this uh, it's not it's like a modest size it looks kind of like a space station oh um, shit and i'm going to say that your abilities can't quite get you into space. I can't go into. I can't go to space. Right, because yeah, even like, NL yeah. had a spaceship. You know what I mean? So yeah, Enero needed a spaceship to go to the moon. Yeah, so, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but you do see it, and you see it's moving. Obviously, because it's in 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 orbit, so it can't quite. Um, it just sort of is moving away from the location. Right. I'm not even. On. I'm not even going to try to shoot anything at it. I'm just going to zip back down to the ship and be like, "Okay, so, um, Luna, either your ride's here to pick you guys up." Or, uh, we're, giant spaceship, we're gonna be invaded by people. I don't know. It's a giant spaceship. A gi oh. Captain, does that mean we can be space pirates again? <laughs> we, oh, damn! Are we Lightning going to space, space pirates? Again? Well, you guys were going to space anyway. You needed to build the ship to take me home, Luna says. Um, I oh, hope yeah. you did not forget about that. And she takes a sip oh, of the Oh, no, we, we didn't. No, um, sure. Uh, um, that's well, maybe if they land down here, we could just steal their ship. Yeah, we could do that. They, it seemed like it was moving away, though. Nah, that's unfortunate. Mm. Well, I do I think they want us dead, though, so... Yeah, so, if it's the Void police people, then they, they have a lot of... Eventually, they'll find us. So we yeah. just watched the whole island be evaporated, right? Yes. Y yeah, I Man, guess we did. This is that's, bad. That's some serious that, firepower. That poor island. I feel... Although I do not feel inclined to just outright take them on... The Marines cannot have this kind of power. No. Absolutely not. Um, They're going to be true. aware of this. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I do agree. Um, yeah, Paul looks up and goes, yeah, do you think they're associated with the Marines at all? Or are they I mean, their own little independent I really doubt thing? that. <laughs> I think these guys are the time police, right? They, yeah. they just use it to do they're their the own. They're the time they squad. Are, they are beyond the spectrum of our little world. Oh, yeah. Wow. Probably beyond all worlds. They can kind of go anywhere. They seem to just be mad at us for somehow altering timelines or starting a timeline or something like that. But imagine yeah, if that kind of power. Our, our sword benevolence for creating them. That's rather rude. Yeah. <laughs> Your sword was God, and they didn't even worship it. Exactly. Very sad. Yeah. Benevolence was so, a benevolent God too. Yeah. So, <laughs> imagine Much better if the power... than malevolence. <laughs> To destroy an entire island was in the hands of the world government. Yeah, really. Yeah. Yeah. Can you Everybody's can you imagine fucked. if that was the case? Oh my god, that'd be crazy. Yeah, I don't think that would yeah. ever happen. <laughs> yeah. Gosh. Yeah. We've got to anyway, make sure anyway. that we've got to make sure that whenever we take that thing down, it doesn't fall into the hands of the world government. Yeah. Anyway, you guys want to go to the Lucia Kingdom after this? I hear there's great ice cream there, and it's just a <laughs> lovely place. Oh, I would love to, <laughs> the Poe says. Well, I, 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 I think we have an imminent threat that if we go anywhere, they might blow up the entire place well, again. Nah, what if we, what if we land happens. on a marine base? That's well, probably, like, uh, we, we probably shouldn't yeah. go anywhere where we like the people that we, we're... We, yeah. Well, it seems again, to be... I would feel bad going to Trevor now, considering he might yeah. get Trevor. Um, uh, yeah. Tempest oh, wait, no. Me. That's the perfect prank. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So maybe we should yeah. arrange a trade on C. Yeah. Um, well, right. we could um, the 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 candle base is a gen essentially a giant ship. The new candle base, um, mm. which is where we were okay. originally going to make the trade. All right. Um, that's a movable thing. I feel like it's bad to be in a stationary position for very long. Yeah. Well. Right. Well, first things first. Can, Louis, can you fix up, boss? He's like two steps away from dead. I uh, Sorry, I've been through a lot. You guys fought a squid girl, and I just stood there and watched, and then a laser went off. I feel dizzy. 
Okay, take a nap. Yeah, but those were the people that tried to kill you. Actually, did kill you before, but we saved you from. I will. Uh, I will help you. This boss person is the least that I could do. Thank you. Um, where is he? We wheel. We wheel, wheel boss, boss out. <laughs> William. I. I don't think I have much long left. It's okay. We have a magic Frenchman. We oui, we oui. built a time machine and is here to save you. Okay, so. I assume he wasn't born like this with the, uh... Ah, uh, no. So I've got uh, to reverse him to the point of... How long ago uh, did this happen to you? Um, I'd say go back maybe a year, just to I'm be sure safe. I'm sure boss would know, Will. Yeah. <laughs> about, nah, it's just a know, year, two, five years is fine. Do, let, do let about eight. Yeah. Yeah. Don't, don't, I don't want you killing your father. <laughs> <laughs> about, <laughs> about eight months would be fine. Right. Okay, well, this takes a lot out of me. Uh, I, I will need to rest for a little bit after this. Uh, it uh, takes a lot of energy to reverse someone this much. Keep you safe, Louis. I promise. <laughs> He's just screaming. <laughs> the veins it's pulsating on his arms. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, the miming helps. Uh, this is what always. Uh, miming is really important to controlling our powers. It is a. Uh, I learned from the Mime Pirates. You know, they're famous, right? It's the, uh, yep, the Mime Pirates. They're Everybody one of the loves the Mime Pirates. greatest pirates in all of the seas. Uh, at least from my timeline. I couldn't find them in this timeline. I wonder what happened to them. Oh, no, probably around there somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> and as he, like, strains, you see Boss's arms slowly start to revert back into human arms. His his wings shrink back into his back. The horn shrink down. You see him grow healthy, and he looks way younger. I mean, he looked fucking like 50 years old, but now he's back to his sort of more, you know, 30s, 40s looking mm. vibe, and his body sort of recovers, and, and then he stands up, and he's just a regular looking man. He looks like a chimney sweep from Mary Poppins. Uh, <laughs> Mary, nice. Fucking yeah. Mary Poppins. <laughs> and he's like, oh, <laughs> William, this is amazing. Boss, you're and back. He, I go up and like slap him on the, uh, <laughs> he, yeah. he slaps you on the shoulder and then embraces you in a big hug. And, and I goes, hug him too. William, yeah. I didn't think I would ever. And I never thought we'd have a chance to do this again. And I punch him in the stomach. Oh, it's just, you know, yeah. and then, you know, yeah, it's a uh, thing. And he yeah. fucking decks you in the face. Yeah. But. Oh, damn it. <laughs> yeah. Fuck? No. I kind of missed this. Up, but, but it's, it's. You old man. Here, here's the thing, William. He decks you in the face. And yeah. it's not like the strength that you remember. The, old, oh, the How strong you are now yeah. from when he did that last is astronomical, right? You know, yeah. the last time he did that, you would have been like pre-level one, right? So oh, God, yeah, he yeah. punches you and it doesn't even really feel like a thing. You're, yeah. you're and he's like, oh, isn't it ironic that the moment I, <laughs> I get healed and it's, you've already surpassed me in strength. Yeah. I have nothing more to teach you, I guess. That's okay. I have a child now too. Doxy, meet your granddad. <laughs> Hello, oh. Doxy. He, he, he crouches down. I know I was just some old geezer in a wheelchair, but uh, my name's um, Jackson Lotsworth. Um, I'm like, I guess I'm like your grandfather. And Doxy's like, who's fucking old geezer? I don't like him. Uh, <laughs> Doxy, be nice to you. God, uh, all right. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, One wow. One big happy family. Um... This is the closest thing William's ever had to a family. He actually <laughs> Jay- starts to tear up. A- Jason Locksworth. I, I keep getting Jason and Jackson confused in my head. I, think it's I don't Jason know. Every Locksworth. time, I, have to, I don't know his real name. He always never told me his real name. I don't oh. even know if that's his real fucking name. He William, might just it, be screwing around. William, yeah. William, it, it is Jason yeah. Locksworth. I, I, wanted, I don't know if you're telling the truth. I wanted to apologize as well. I mean, I probably yeah. already did, but just especially, yeah. I, I know right. I killed your parents and all that. And, and I deserve I was- the justice that Trevor... If if you wanted to hand me over to Trevor, I wouldn't be. Uh, no. No. It's fine. We've me and Trevor have always hashed this out. I mean, like right. it is what it is. You know, my parents never knew. Well, him. I don't know what to do yeah. in my life now. I could go back to the oasis and see if Roulette is still interested in me, but I don't think without my animal parts, she doesn't really. I don't think she's going to dig me as much. Um, Wait, was that? Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, huh. Maybe I'll find a job at this this uh, place that we're going to. What, what would you? I, 
The eight, the eight flames base. Yeah, go on there. Yeah, I, or you, or you could join my crew. Oh, of course. I just we'd love to have you. Yeah, why not? <laughs> right. But I, and um, that's your your ship is now sailing off towards okay. the uh the base. Nice. All and right. And Olaf is still paralyzed though. Um, eh, we'll figure that. We'll out. We'll figure that out. <laughs> <laughs> Olaf is paralyzed in a bed. Um, he can he can still breathe, right? Uh, yes. He can yeah, still we're breathe. fine then. Yeah. Um, and and Gravy's prepared a big meal for you guys, and right. you guys could finally have a nice long rest for the first no, time no, no, in no, no. for what you guys feel like weeks, like <laughs> yeah. Um, as you're sailing off towards uh, the the Eight Flames' base, okay. um, Lissa is making adjustments to the spaceship. Uh, I don't. Oh, you're rolling your new D20s, a nine and a ten. Yep. Wow, I haven't done that in I ages. <laughs> yeah. New day, I'm doing it right away before I forget. Um, yep. Okay, so. You. Get all my stuff back. Yep. <laughs> uh, uh, I know, I'm almost as good as new anyway. Yeah, I'm you didn't even, really get hit much. Not even an issue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Duras is fine. Duras is good. A minor inconvenience, if you will. <laughs> Ragnar, or, Ragnar, are you feeling any better? I ask him the next day. I I feel a little bit better for sure. Like the headache's not as bad, but I just have this unquenchable thirst. No ale in the world could can solve this. Mm. Oh. Um. All right. Do you guys want to do anything on the ship as you're as you're sailing off? There is like twenty NPCs on this ship. Any manner yeah, of people that you can talk are. to. Um. All I'm gonna do is hand Alyssa the the slip. Oh, what's with this? Spider robot oh. info. Oh. So, so creepy crawly. Yeah, let's just say I had a relative who knew something or two about robots. Ah, thought you might be able to use this. Thank you. And as you hand her the thing, she sort of just grabs your wrist for a second. Verona. Um. Yeah. Thank you for for still being alive. I I was worried to bits about you. You just gotta be more careful. Okay. Of course. Okay. I'll do my best. You see, I, I, then I go on to monologue about how we all got blown up like three different times. <laughs> <laughs> Verona, that's no good. Oh, it's, I don't know if I could have handled that. Thank God I wasn't there. I think that would have caused me so much distress. Listen, I can um, I can work on these spider robot things, but I think the the spaceship is the most important thing to get Luna back home and all that. Of course, this um, is just in case you need something to tinker with in the future. I thought you're the only person who has any use for this rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, th thank you very much. I appreciate it. Uh, <laughs> thank you. I mean, you, you don't have to go back to the crew so fast, do you? You could stay here and no. help me work a little bit if you want. We can just... Yeah, let me fun. help you out. Yeah, thank you. And then they just start helping each other out for oh, the little, for a little trip. Um, any of you guys want to talk to anyone? Yeah, I'm absolutely going to talk to Luna, obviously. Okay. You're going to go to Luna. Uh, Luna's sitting there um, on the... She's reading a book. Uh, oh, a book. And she okay. places it down. Oh, Dura, sunny. Um, oh, well, hello there. It feels like it's been a long time, but for you, it's probably only been... Maybe been less than a day. Yeah, less than a day. Um, <laughs> did you find what you were looking for? Uh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, uh, I explained to her what happened to that the adventure. I'm not going to go into all that. But, yeah, I'm, uh, wow. I'm also going to. That sounds like, whip like out. a lot. Like an yes, and I, I did lose a, another friend though, and hmm. I gained a new one as I pulled out uh, question mark sword. <laughs> question mark sword. <laughs> question mark sword for now. I have no idea what to name wow. this yet. I love how it, it glints in the. Yeah, I guess it's like getting into the evening time. I just love how yeah. it glints in the moonlight. It's a beautiful Light. weapon. What mm, are you interesting. gonna call it? Maybe the light. The light? Ooh. Yes. Like a like a beacon. Like you are, Doris, yes. and she holds your arm and sort of rests her head on your shoulder. You know, I oh. I don't really get to see this often, but I really do miss you when I'm up there by myself. Once you're done with well, all this pirating thing, 
I would love you to maybe stay for a little bit longer. Um, I, I would like that, Luna. I would. Yeah, I would like that a lot too. I'm just going to have to probably run this by you, though. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the captain, um, he said that there was some sort of space thing on the moon. We might need to use your spaceship that we're building for you to go and fight this new threat. Excuse me? <laughs> uh, uh, right. Yes, yes. They blew up an entire island. It's not something we can leave be. I... You saw that, right? I'm sure you did. Yeah. She smiles. <laughs> but she kind of grips you a little bit tighter. Yeah. I understand. We can't no, always we get... We will get you home. We will get you home. And I trust that. I'm sure... Oh, who did I leave in charge? I didn't... I didn't leave anyone in charge. Y you, My... you have someone as a backup, right? Surely. <laughs> I guess... <laughs> Surely, yeah, right? I, I guess so. Uh... Um, I guess, I guess so. She just sort of looks. <laughs> she had a hierarchy. Hoping, like, when I popped her out of the, uh, the, uh, planet, I'm hoping that didn't start a civil war. <laughs> yeah. Like, completely destroyed. Holy yeah. shit. Yeah, she, uh, she has to have, like, a, a hierarchy. Yeah, 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 yeah but yeah. Her, her, I think her second is Asta, who is okay, so with you guys. Okay, so she has third. Yeah, with yeah. us too. Yeah, she does have, like, a government body at, after that point for like council yeah. or something yeah and i'm um, happy happy is on that c council so i guess happy is probably in happy control the now happy. <laughs> yeah, happy happy. Got the, elected. the steering led uh, government oh, God. <laughs> here we go Sorry. that's incredible um uh yeah william ragnar do you guys want to talk to anyone i, I have something i want to do but ragnar do you want to yeah. do anything <clears throat> yeah ragnar okay not really go ahead okay um, I was just gonna talk to like kind of bring Doxy up to speed on boss and everything. Yeah. And then after after Doxy goes to All bed, right. I kinda wanna just So he, he killed to... your oh. your dad oh. and then yeah, became well, your was... dad. Yeah. I mean I was only like six months old at the time. To be I fair, don't really remember. You you, you fucking know? killed my dad, so I get it, right? But I hated yeah. my dad. You didn't even know. I don't your know dad. about I don't know my real dad. He could have been a douchebag. I don't know. Well, uh, he Trevor sounds seemed to like him, but wow. He's a he's a member of nobility. They're all fucking douchebags, right? Burn yeah, the rich. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean. Eat, That's eat what the I was rich, thinking. Innit? Yeah. Eat the rich yeah. unless it's money stolen, like piracy and all that fucking. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Fuck it. Whatever. But you we've know? gone on a bunch of wild adventures. Maybe sometime I'll tell you the story when we stole those pigs. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fucking but, hell. Um, after Doxy goes to bed, I kind of just want to. I thought have a I thought Gravy was here by uh by his own consent. Ah, <laughs> that's a good one. That's a good yeah. one. See, yeah. <laughs> all right, fucking okay. up. Okay, um, I uh, I want to ask boss like kind of seriously. He's like, okay, look, um, I didn't want to bring this up when you were sick, but uh, I am curious, kind of like. So when I was that last job we pulled, and you just vanished, why'd you leave? Because I was being hunted by Trevor, and I didn't want you to be in danger too. Ah, that's nice. I thought that if they found me with you, that you would be caught in the crossfire. You would die. You were too young. You were too weak. And well, okay, kind of, kind of being a little bit. You okay, know. well, you know, like. Yeah, I know. I can. No, I, I think I could take Trevor now. Honestly. Oh yeah, I think you I could definitely could. Yeah. But then, <laughs> then. Yeah. Uh, All right. I couldn't risk well, it, so I just had to let you. And you know what? I'm glad. It was a difficult decision for me, William. It was really yeah. difficult. I wanted to protect you, but I knew the best way to protect you was to leave you to your own devices. Sorry Thanks. I couldn't tell you anything. I knew you would have tried to follow me, tried to protect me. You've always been so headstrong. You always want to fight everything, and I just knew you couldn't handle it. I kind of start to get a little weepy, and I just hug him. I'm like, Thanks. But I'm so proud of you. Dad, no, that's weird. That's weird you, Dad. <laughs> Thanks, boss. Thanks, boss. I want to know what happens if, like, if Ragnar microdoses, like, it's like a small, like, one well, millimeter. Quick millimeter. way to find out, bro. Oh, you're in millimeter. Out? Yeah. Oh, no. I guess you do. I guess you're gonna microdose. Okay. Yeah, because it's like, gonna, in the I feel corner. like the headache is still there, but it's when, less okay. after a day of rest. The moment that you microdose, you feel less exhausted. Your level of exhaustion okay. goes down. 
but we'll see what happens. Okay, because I was just saying to I said to William that I still felt like thirsty. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it, are you, are so like you... I, I, so I go to like a like a private room or like behind like it's dark now, whatever, and I just do like a little small amount. Ah, that feels good. Oh, <laughs> oh, very ominous. Okay, and uh, all right. Okay, you guys slowly approach after like a couple of days out on sea and all of these things. Oh, mm, yeah. What? <laughs> what? Oh, nothing. <laughs> I just had an idea. So it's Red Sea for a couple of days. What? What? What's your? Well, with, with Ragnar dealing with his um addiction, uh, I mean, I could honestly just keep rolling my Devil Fruit eight times a day and see if like I get the heal heal fruit. Or you something. get like the addiction curing fruit. Well, no, not the addiction. But here's the, the thing, the William. Heal, the heal heal. Fruit. Here's the yeah. thing, William. Ragnar yeah. is purposely keeping his addiction hidden. You don't know. Yes. That is true. Yeah, that is true. Like Ragnar didn't even ask. Didn't even ask Louis. I yes, asked him possible. if he was no. doing okay, and he just said he felt better. So yeah. I'm not. You guys assume just think that, he's yeah. exhausted from fighting too much, you know? Yeah. I mean, all of us, good. all of us did watch Ragnar kill himself, though. You know, <laughs> <laughs> we, we did all witness that. But, but that was that was less because of the addiction and more just because you thought he was using it as a last yeah, resort in that battle. Now we know he has it. Yeah. Oh, that's right. We know he has they it. They do know I have it. I guess yeah. we don't know that it has addictive properties. Yeah, yeah we and just know he injected know he's it with it and he exploded. That's yeah. all we know. I assume you guys trust Ragnar. So. Yeah, I trust him. Yeah, yeah, I'm, not gonna, point. Be, I'm gonna be with Luna. I'm not. I don't know any yeah, of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. I don't know. Like, I can roll an insight check. Yeah, but that if you have an inkling. Whoa. Yeah, I mean. Uh, I don't. Know, you just rolled a random insight check on one. <laughs> insight <laughs> is more specific than just. Like if Ragnar said something to you, like I don't know. You, you I, I've insight. said things. It might. You guys might you, have an I, inkling, I mean, but like, Ragnar will just deny it. Okay, yeah, but I'm like but, looking but, at it like this. Like Ragnar's one of my close friends that has a serious like yeah, yeah, addiction yeah. to an opiate. Like I think I should be able okay. to like when eh, when off there. when Ragnar yeah. is the insight check is to Ragnar saying something along the lines of I'm feeling you know a little bit better or whatever, and you can okay. and with, with an insight check of thirteen because uh, you don't have advantage. Yeah, I don't uh, know. Yeah, you yeah, yeah. you can't really read him. Um, you don't know if he's feeling better, but. Okay. So you don't really... Yeah. He, he's sort of unreadable to you. He is I actually kinda, unusual, I get though. Something, I can kind of get that something's off. Yeah, something's off, really but you, you can't okay. tie it to anything specifically. Alright. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. So you guys eventually approach this giant... Um, it, it's like a giant naval base-looking thing, and it has a giant cylindrical... Uh, tower in the center that's in the shape of like a candle. It's got a big... Um, ornament on the top that's like a flame and it's got eight little candle towers around the side and Tempest go, looks up at it and turns to you William and goes oh, that is um, the newly constructed um, candle base a flames base you, you don't say it's a lot more ostentatious than the other yes, one yes um, Hemlock <laughs> has an eye for the details uh, I helped her of course and we had uh, a lot of on top of the hole on the giant candle is like an actual flame that's actually like like yeah fuck it that's actually way cooler yeah yeah <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah 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 like um, the Olympic torch yeah, that's, that's just fucking like, cool yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's yeah. pretty fucking cool yeah. right well we probably should go meet with um, boss um, Hemlock um, okay and and you your ship ports into one of the like ports one of the eight ports around the um, the the giant ship base. Holy crap, and how you did leave. you guys have the funds to build this in such a oh, short amount of time? We make a lot of money now that we switch to the mercenary work. You'll be surprised at how much the Marines pay for for yeah. off the books mercenary work. Um yeah, like think, this yeah. this job in particular is quite high money. Uh, actually I, I know that first hand. I uh, the knights we used to work for the, the Navy until they backstabbed us. Oh yes, they, we have to. We're, we're strong enough to get, not to get backstabbed, though. Um, we make sure we keep everything above board. Um, okay. And as you guys uh, approach, you see um, Humphrey there, little book in hand. He goes, "Oh, well, welcome back, welcome back. Let me let me get the doors open for you." Oh, and, the owl guy. Yeah, yeah, and he's he's the owl guy. Yeah. <laughs> and the 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 boat comes into port, and the the little wooden bridge is put down, and one of the doors inside of the naval bases opened and the whole thing is moving so you've been chained up now 
and you guys enter into uh, this I'd say it's modestly sized. When I say ginormous, it's not crazy size. It's just obviously bigger than a ship. It's like yeah, quite a few, you know, it houses it's, uh, a few people. It's a catamaran. Yeah, whatever that is. Uh, <laughs> you go thing. inside, and inside, it's got quite um, um, a tropical feel to it because obviously Hemlock does a lot of the interior decorating. So oh, nice. it has candles lighting the walls. It's got lots of trees, and it's almost like a planetarium. Not a planetarium. That that's for planets. What a pl- whatever a planetarium is, but for plants, I can't remember the word. What a is greenhouse? it? Like a greenhouse, right? <laughs> no, there's a, oh, an arboreum. An arboreum. <laughs> terrarium is what I meant. It's like a terrarium. A terrarium. Okay. <laughs> planetarium. I'm fucking stupid. Um, wow! Look at all these planets. This is cool. <laughs> you see, you see off in the distance. You see Malays. You recognize Malays, and she's like stroking a, a deer. And she looks around and she sort of meekly waves at you guys as she's petting this deer. Um, Obviously. (laughs) And you guys observing this entire space. It's it's almost got rings to it, you. um, And lots of different doorways off into different areas, into different rooms and stuff. And uh, Tempest goes, I wish I could give you the full tour, but we don't really have time. Um, We should head right up to Hemlock straight away. Let's, Let's go. All right. Is anyone <coughs> staying on the ship, or, or people hanging around? Was all yeah, Storos has got a stick now. No, it's all, it's all like I don't know, like fifteen of us just <laughs> walking up to the office room. Yeah, why not? Yeah, I why mean, not? Some of our crewmates. This yeah. is a safe place to dock. You well, know, actually, I'm not... I, just what I'm going to say. Liz is going to turn around and uh, and ask Tempest. Is there any place that I can set up construction, like a like a sort of laboratory, so I can continue work on my um on my ship? And I show you guys have some more resources and stuff. And Tempest goes, yes, um. Um, it's just over there, down the corner, and go to the right. And um, Liz is going to head off in that direction and okay. work on shit over there. And um, I guess the rest. Of- Asta's going to go like, "All right, guys, you guys head on up. I'm just going to, I'm just going to chill in nature, man. I ain't seen a tree like this in <laughs> ages." Ooh. Oh, he's and in he, his element. He's just going to lay <laughs> yeah, down yeah, yeah. In the, and just relax <laughs> in the field in and just like light it up and just like. Yeah. <laughs> and I guess the rest of you will go. Um, All right, cool. Yes, you, you travel through corridors and eventually up some spiral staircase in the central um, candle-like tower. Um, and as uh, uh, when you're going down the hallway, you do run into Bullet. Bullet's walking by, and oh. and you bash the oh Bullet. Oh God, she's still um, alive. And she she's there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's there. Uh, she's and, still alive. Okay. She's still there. <laughs> well, she's a member of the candles now. Um, yeah. Oh God. Oh, the last time we saw her, she was getting the shit beat out of her pretty bad. On on her shoulder, she has a monkey, like a little uh, uh, chimp. A monkey? Yeah, a I'm little cute. a little monkey, and the monkey has a in the monkey's tail is a gun, and it's also holding two guns. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and bullets oh, like oh, guns. Oh, yeah, well, oh, wow! Didn't think you guys would be here. So wow. Well, I guess I should have expected it. And she sort of side eyes. A lot of you guys and goes. Yeah. How you guys awkward. been anyway? Ah, uh, we're good. How you been? Right. You I mean, healthy. Yeah. I mean, I got a job. I know I'm yeah, living. Um, they forgave me for the whole Cleo situation. I guess most of them did. And um, I'm working here. They they understood my talents. I'm no. I no longer have to sell or buy slaves. I could just shoot things and make money. I never thought. I never thought that was a line of work for me. But you know. Which uh, which number are you? Um, I'm number four. Oh, nice. That's four. gravy's they, old she, number. They have yeah. a their steel. And uh, you know, poetic, right? Gravy killed yeah. my older brother. So. Good times, of course. Gravy's yeah. with us right now. <laughs> gravy's like, I'm, I'm, no, I'm so sorry about that, and it's all right, big fella. All right, I assume you're gonna go see the boss. Um. So I'm I'm just gonna be chilling out. I'm I'm going to the cafeteria to get some grub. Cool. She, she yeah. walks on off. You want to go down and smoke some weed with Aster? He's downstairs Whoa. if you want. Yeah. Aster, has, the one from the uh, the planet. Yeah. Oh great. They're on here now. I I heard things about him. I was in the ship most of the time, but um I heard things about. Oh I'll, I'll go hang out. He seems I completely he's... forgot Bullet was on the planet. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if Bullet and Asta would get along, but let's let's we'll find out. So Bullet walks off Next and goes Asta direction. Um, you guys continue up the stairs, um, 
And hey, who was that? <laughs> I, I don't know. Uh, Pell Pellet, BB, I, I don't remember her name. Uh, all right. It just seemed like you guys knew her pretty well. Yeah. I don't remember her at all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Okay. You guys continue up the, up the stairs and... Um, you see another man knocking on the front door of Hemlock's uh, uh, abode, like the the room that says like like the eighth penthouse flame. or whatever. Yeah, yeah, eighth flame. It has nice sort of ornaments on the front of it and grass and stuff like that. And you see it's a man fancy. knocking on it, and this man is dressed in sort of black and red, right? Uh, he's got like a visor that has like a red strip across it, and um, okay. he he turns around to you guys and goes. Ah, uh, Tempest. Who are, who are, whoa, there's a lot of people here. I'm trying to open the door, but uh, Hemlock's not answering. I don't know if she's asleep or, or something. Um, and he, tur he turns around to you guys and goes, Oh, um, nice to meet you, by the way. Yeah. N nice to meet you. W what's with the sunglasses, dude? Ah, uh, I just like them. Then they look cool. Um, hmm. he, 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 he puts a hand out. Um, and as he puts a hand out, you see a little spider crawl across his his arm and go, and he, Ooh. and he's he goes, no no no, go back in, go back in, and the spider crawls back into his suit, um, and he, he do you shake his hand? I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still debating whether the glasses are cool or not. <sighs> I don't know. Tempest sort of looks at you with like, come on, shake his hand. He's a little bit self conscious. Yeah, okay. I'll shake his hand. You just shake it. I mean, it's a normal handshake. Yeah, it's all right. Nice to meet you. <laughs> okay. All right, uh, yeah. The name's Scourge. Scourge. Oh, God, you're, you're edgy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the... And he, he holds up the, the, his little thing. Uh, he's number six. Oh. Mm, okay. Right. But, and so Tempest goes, so the door's not opening? She's not opening. Should we just? I mean, I could take care of the door if you guys no, want. No, 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 Ragnar. Hold on. This is a nice place. We're guests here. And I'll I can fix it afterwards. I'll just pick the lock. Okay. <laughs> just pick <Boring>. the lock. <laughs> a nice place. Let's just pick the lock. <laughs> Let's just. I don't want to break the door. I'll just break in. You know. All right. So you you pick the lock. Yeah. All right. And you you pick the lock. <laughs> The door opens up slowly. And there, the, in the center of the room, you see Hemlock, her body lifeless. Blood what? stains over her, laying in her chair. You see the room relatively ransacked, but nothing stolen except for one drawer is completely empty and on the ground. And when you look upwards, you see a whole and fire off the top of the cylinder-like shape. The flame that was on top of this ship-like structure um, wasn't for decoration. <laughs> oh! And, oh okay. <laughs> Louis, heal her! <laughs> uh, and Louis looks around and goes, I don't think I can bring back the dead. Damn it! To be continued. Jesus. <laughs> what the fuck? What the hell? Hemlock, no, she no. was so sexy. Hemlock was sorting through her documents. She'd done a pretty good job getting this new base organized. It was a mixture of technology V left behind and the money that the flames were now bringing in with its new mercenary jobs that made this all possible. V had left behind a lot of weird papers and schematics, odd contraptions and maps, and a whole plethora of log poses. Hemlock had to dedicate an entire drawer just to store the log poses. They were unmarked, so she didn't know which ones went where, but she can't imagine they were that important. She took a sip of tea, reclining back in her chair and sighed. A lot of work to get done. Soon Trevor would be here, and hopefully Tempest and Olaf too. Without warning, Hemlock heard a large explosion echo from above her. She quickly looked up and saw a strange cylinder hurtling towards her at impossible speeds. Survival instincts kicked in and she leapt back, holding herself ready as the metal cylinder crashed into the ground. The cylinder was oddly designed, almost like it had thrusters built into both ends and a large peculiar door adorned it. The door slid open, and out of the pod, an old lady calmly emerged, looking around, almost bored surveying the scene. She was dressed in fine red silks, 
and a peculiar scar ran down from her eye to her mouth. Her eyes darted around the room like a hunter, until it settled on the drawer Hemlock kept the log poses in. A small smile crept across her face and she wordlessly started moving towards her objective. Wait a second! Hemlock blurted. Who did she think she was, barging in here and acting like she owned the place? Hmm? The old lady stopped and turned around. Is there a problem? There's a, a huge problem! Hemlock snapped in frustration. Who are you and what do you think you're doing here? Oh, you don't need to know that. I'll be on my way very quickly. Hemlock stared on in anger. She was the goddamn leader of one of the most prolific mercenary corporations in all the seas. She was not going to be dismissed by some old lady in a ball gown. She grumbled, then darted towards her, dagger in hand, swinging to subdue but not to kill. The old lady sighed and effortlessly dodged out of the way of the attack. It could never be easy. No matter. The old lady raised a hand towards Hemlock. Let's see who's in that head of yours. With a few subtle hand gestures, a distorted image of a man materialized in front of Hemlock. Red and black cloak, pale skin. Hemlock immediately recognized the man as Valentine, but that's impossible. Valentine is dead. Another figure materialized. Red haired, muscular. Th had to be Blake. The figures kept appearing. Figures of the past. Some strong in image, others blurry and faint. The old lady simply snapped her fingers and then the images charged towards Hemlock. She parried the first attack, a sword swinging from a formless image, dagger in hand, metal scraping across metal. A flaming fist then appeared from her left side as the figure of Blake dashed towards her. Without missing a beat, she dodged out of the way, leaving him slamming into the desk behind, breaking it in half. So these weren't mental illusions like Malay's, Hemlock thought. These were the real deal. What kind of power is this? Before she had a second to catch her breath, a right hook barreled into her, knocking her into the ground. She looked up and saw Chuck's grinning face as his axe swung down. Hemlock quickly rolled out of the way, slicing into his forearm with the back of her blade, poison dripping from the tip. Chuck's body spasmed as stones started crawling up his skin. The poison was setting in, petrifying him. Hemlock had no time to get up before Blake was on her again, sending out a coil of chains that wrapped tightly around her waist. He yanked the chain and violently pulled Hemlock towards him. Another arm held out, ready to deliver a decisive blow. Hemlock croaked with pain, unable to find the strength to resist the attack. In mere seconds, Blake's fist made contact with her jaw, breaking the bones in several places. A loud, crunching sound echoed in her head. She lifted up her legs to try and kick her attacker away, but her ankle was swiftly grabbed by another assailant. She looked to her side as the attackers approached on all angles. She was helpless, tied up and bound to fate. Minutes later, Hemlock lay bloodied on a broken desk. The figures disappeared once they were done with her. The pain was immeasurable. Broken bones and twisted limbs, blood dripping down her face as she was slipping in and out of consciousness she was still alive. Through defeated eyes, she saw the old lady enter back into her ship, barely looking at her, like Hemlock was nothing more than a nuisance. Hemlock weakly hung onto life. She couldn't move. She blacks out. Time passes and she hears a knock on her door, waking her from her stupor. She wants to move but can't. Nothing but a weak stirring within her. She's losing blood fast, her body growing cold. The door to her office creaks open. She hears voices, imperceptible through the blood clogging her ears. Louis, heal her! After a little while, she hears, I don't think I can bring back the dead. But she's not dead. Not yet. 